Belize Rural South, which includes the San Pedro and Kikakar Islands, saw up to 63% of newly registered voters casting their votes. At the end of the process, there was a clear yes, which UDP Minister and Area Representative Manuel Heredia anticipated. Fortunately, I believe that in my constituency, the yes will overcome, which is Kikakar and San Pedro. And I have seen during the course of the day my people speaking to them and the majority, I would say the vast majority of my supporters came ready to vote for that, yes. Including a number of PUP friends that said they are voting yes. Because this is not about red, not about blue, it is about Belize. But the minister and the San Pedro town mayor Daniel Guerrero admitted that residents in this division were not very sure about what they were being asked to vote on. Based on our campaign, it's on the yes, but it's hard to tell. Like I say, the campaign was very smooth going, but a lot of confusion. People were confused. People, people don't get a picture of what we're going through. Uh, I think it's more of a lack of education, but um, they're coming out. The morning saw a slow but steady influx of voters on both islands. The numbers went up after 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Members of both parties actively engaged voters, and while Minister Heredia was optimistic of a yes to the ICJ, PUP standard bearer Andre Perez was not convinced. It is very difficult to say because the flow that is coming in is people coming independently. They're not really people that you want to go and look for them or not. And that is something very telling that you must be very careful with right now. So anybody who's been telling you that the yes are winning or the no's are winning it, you've got to be very careful with this. What I can tell you, though, is that the turnout right now, we have just jumped over the 50%. I think I was just about, uh, I think about 30 minutes ago, we're noticing our figures that we jumped over the 3,300 voter mark, which is just over 50% for an entire voters list. So with that said, um, we are looking at the figures that we have a very good turn turnout. And that's going to spell a good thing for Belize Real South, for the nation to see. For their part, the voters who showed up were sure of their decision. I said no. Why exactly did you say no? Huh? Why exactly are you saying no? Because we don't have enough time. Do you mean enough time to get informed, uh, to be educated on the topic? Champion, not enough yet. The campaign is not enough yet. Money is spent for no unreasonable. It's um, about time we come and exercise our rights. I do believe that we have more or less uh, uh, what is it all about. So a lot of uh, education was put into it and this is the day that we need to come out and then we decide wherever we want to go from here. Gates closed at 6 o'clock and it was not long after when the result was tallied. Returning officer Martin Alegria said the process did not present any real challenge throughout the course of the day. We had a smooth, smooth flow by all monitors. So no objections, no confusions? No, there was a, well, you know, under rejection you had the um, option of uh, rejected with uh, objection, there was none. I most congratulate our people that have been very, very, very forthcoming. And I must give also a thanks to Mr. Andre Perez. He was for the yes also, no? So and I must thank him also for his effort for putting Belize before party politics. And I believe that, and I said it this morning, that is the way I thought it should have been from, from day one. I thought that then it would be over 50% and it was 55% actually. I would have wanted 60, but I, I, I saw that a little in tough because it is not a political election. But nonetheless, I think 55 was good. And what was better is that the yes of our came this in today. Is it of any concern, sir, that particularly here in San Pedro, you have over 20,000 uh, residents, registered voters, Com combined with Kikakar, you had about 6,700 yeah. of newly registered voters. Is it of any concern to you that while it's a yes vote, the quantity of people that came out to vote really does not reflect the majority of the people in Belize Rural uh, South? You know, there could have been, um, if I was a little, if it was a political thing, probably the, the numbers would have been 
much bigger, even the registered voters, because just today, and I was very, I like to see what is happening with my people, and so a number of people that came to vote are not, didn't re-register. So you can see that there was there a little negligence on my part that I could should have seen, because I know a number of those, I know them well, but I took it for granted that they re-register. So there is a good number of my people that not are registered, and I have to make sure that they register for the general elections. Reporting for News 5, I am Dalila Ikal.